Hi, I'm Mike Roebuck. We're here in Denver for Light Reading's NFB SDN Carrier event. I'm here with Huawei's Robert Tao. Robert, why don't you tell us what your job is at Huawei, and then can you explain what Huawei's Agile Controller is? Sure. Uh, hi, Mike. Um, I'm a, a senior architect with Huawei, uh, focusing in carrier networking, uh, NFB SDN, and the cloud computing in general. Um, Huawei Agile Controller uh, is the unified commercial controller um, for SDN and MV uh, services. It solves the big problem for service providers, which is to uh, unifyly control and provision the services from end to end. Uh, that is from data centers to WAN, uh, wide area networks to campuses where uh, the users are located. Um, the Agile controller has a, a, a high performance and a highly reliable architecture. Uh, its multiple modules can be deployed uh, either all together to form an end-to-end network services control and uh, resource allocations, or can be deployed individually depending on the application scenarios. Agile controller has an open interface towards the northbound. Uh, it allows the application to uh, nimbly develop the application and then enable the services for the uh, um, uh, customers. So, Robert, can you tell us what Gluon is and what problem it solves? Gluon is a open source, um, model driven, and uh, very extensible framework uh, to provide uh, network function virtualization services to customers. So, a service provider can use the Gluon to provide the NLV services to customers on demand. Um, and also it provides the uh, benefit to quickly deploy the service. For example, if a service provider wants to create a new service, you first enable the, uh, the Gluon modeling the service uh, with the tools provided, and the vendors will support that service using that model uh, in their products. And once that is done, the provider can integrate the pro products into the solution, into the existing cloud, and allowing the application access the services uh, right away through the generated APIs. Glone is an open source project participated by uh, multiple vendors and led by a, a very top service provider. Uh, right now, it works with OpenStack, uh, trying to bring the services um, to Neutron, OpenStack Neutron, um, to, for those unique services that's not available um, yet to the Neutron, but available through vendors SDN controllers, like Huawei's Agile controller. So Robert, what does Gluon bring to Huawei's Agile controller, and how does that work with your customers? Uh, so with Gluon and uh, the agility the Agile controller provides, um, we basically provide the kind of benefit allowing service providers to enable the services uh, in a very fast way. Um, that's what we provide. Um, to meet the customer's requirements to build data centers and, um, in a very, you know, with a very elastic network, uh, virtual networks, so that the customers can build, quickly build the applications and enable the services, uh, Huawei pushed out a uh, solution called Cloud Fabric. Um, and the Agile controller is a core component of that solution. Now, um, with that uh, Agile controller uh, sitting in the core um, of that solution, uh, the uh, Huawei would, uh, is able to provide a standard API to the northbound, uh, which allows uh, the Agile controller to integrate seamlessly with the existing uh, major cloud services cl uh, platforms. The, the other benefit it, uh, it, it has is um, uh, toward the uh, southbound, it has uh, the standard interface as well, so that it can work with uh, a variety of uh, devices, uh, enable the services, and uh, interworking with um, the different uh, networking implementations. So that's the, the benefits uh, that we, we will offer uh, through the, uh, this combination. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Robert.
what I have here uh, is to show our customers how to use Huawei's uh, commercial product. Uh, in, the, in this case, it's an uh, Agile controller uh, to work with uh, open source technologies uh, such as Glong um, to provide the customers VPN services. Uh, the VPN services will be crossing multiple data centers. Um, those data centers typically are located in different geographic locations uh, where their customers are um, um, closely close located. And um, uh, what, what offers here is that uh, the upper application can issue a single a API calls to establish and enable those services uh, for the customers. So uh, in, the pa in the recent years, we've seen that uh, service providers want to use NLV and SDN technologies to provide network services for their customers. And by doing this, uh, it's going to enable, uh, allow them to low down their operational costs as well as providing the nimble uh, service for their customers and that encourage innovations. And this is what um, uh, Huawei is doing. Of course, there are going to be challenges. There are a number of uh, technology and engineering uh, issues we have to go through, we have to resolve. But uh, Huawei as a indus industry leader uh, is at the forefront to find the best solutions for the customers to meet those challenges.